so I've just tightened these up yet again on the bottom um, I do believe in here the plastic is starting to twist I cannot believe how strong it is because this is this is getting really really powerful now I've I've inquired about getting these 3d printed in metal this bit this bit here bottom as well and also the arms in metal so I can actually tie it up um, I reckon this at the moment is about it's probably about 60 pounds of force when you pull it all the way back here maybe a little bit more even um, and I'm not going to face it at me because that will hurt if it fires um, yeah I'm basically going to hopefully once these are metal I'm going to try and see if I can get this up to sort of around 170 pounds of force um, which I'm going to do um, and I'm going to try and hit the shed over there if you can see it right there from here which is not very far away um, but uh, yeah uh, it's quite hard to aim <laughs> so wish me luck crank that up as much as I dare it's uh, it's creaking um, and I'm scared <laughs> legitimately scared this thing's terrifying it takes two hands to pull that back you have to squeeze there and pull this back at the same time um, okay here goes nothing I absolutely have no idea what's gonna happen here Oh yeah, look at that hit it. And you can see the drop on that was next to nothing. So I've just run down to the shed. And my slippers, probably shouldn't have done that. A bit wet. There's the bolt. Oh god. You can see it didn't stick in at that range. Um but the the actual the actual end of this I've hit walls and stuff with it, so it's not very sharp. But that was a hell of a drop. I want to review that video. And it's all the way from over there. It's actually, that's quite a long way. You can see the ballista on the table there. That is quite a long way away. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I just want to make it metal so it's brutal. That's what I want. I want to make it as powerful as I can do. So I'm just inside. Um, and before I shoot another... Um, shot with this blister I'm, I'm gonna really pull this string all the way back that was the last shot the range that you saw I'm gonna try and pull it back a bit further and see what we get I don't want to break it but I want to see what it can do so bear with because you might see it explode um, I'm gonna sharpen this tip as well with this uh, file um, get it a bit sharper because at the moment it's a bit it's a bit blunt let's see what we can just get it just going into so I've sharpened this right up now, as you can see, a lot shinier, the tip is much better. Let's go shoot it. So I've cranked this right back, I do not trust any further than that. I've been grimacing the whole time, I'm even scared to put this in. Ah, there you go, okay. Right, let's shoot this before something bad happens. Oh my Jesus! Look at that, that is... That is legitimately terrifying. Like that's that's the whole size I've had before. I mean that's almost gone through. Not quite. That's I mean that's how thick the wood is. That's almost gone through. That is crazy. I kinda wanna shoot it again now. So let's try something different. Crank to back, I think even maybe one click further. Let's shoot a breeze block. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is mad, that is mad. You can see how far that's gone in there. Mate. I love it. <sighs> Dangerous. Um, so I've had a look at the videos and I've decided I'm a little bit mad and I want to shoot through my shed door. Okay, so I'm going to tie it up one more time and I'm going to use my other bolt which is a bit bigger and a bit longer. And I've actually marked on here, see these black dots? That's where I got it back to last time so I'm going to tie it up with this one more time. <laughs> it really, really might break. And then I'm gonna go past this point. I'm just crank it up now. Oh my god! Um, I've only managed to crank it one back. Um, 
you have no idea how hard that was to crank back. I almost couldn't crank it back. Almost, like, that is an um, unbelievable amount of tension. Like, I'm, ge I'm genuinely, I'm filming this because it might explode. Like, it's ridiculous. I just run down to the garden shed. Oh, like, I'm actually out of breath because I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, my. You have no idea how lethal this feels. Okay, let's put this in the right way around. Okay. Right. I'm going to do it closer, and we're going to see if we can go through the shed. Three, two, one. Oh. Has that gone through, though? No, it still hasn't gone through. Oh, I'm not going to do it any more than that. <laughs> oh my god, that's mental. I guess I... Like, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hurt something. I think it's... I think it's probably gone about that far. Like, that is... Mental. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe how strong that is now. I can't believe how strong that PLA is in there. That that's holding. Oh, you can see. You can see in there it's started to twist quite a lot now. So this is this is where the metal one's going to come in. The threads are actually looking like they're starting to um, to actually separate as well and snap. Um, that is literally mental literally bonkers I can't even I can't even begin to say I'd never ever thought that a PLA ballista could be that powerful it's just I mean that is I think that's getting on for 80 80 or 90 pounds of force now on that draw because it's ridiculous um, cool hope you enjoy the video